points. So this kit will come with two different bars, which is this one and that one. Bracing, which is also a spring, a little bit different. And we have uh, some rigid elements. If you want, you want to make it rigid to not move. It can be a wall. It can be a floor. Slab. Mm -hmm. So you're going to make a plate structure. Yeah. 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 You want to move on to the next day? Take a look at that. Is it going to be a little bit? Okay. Okay. There are only one uh, type of springs for each length. They are not of different stiffness. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We 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 are thinking to make a different rigid uh, for each element. Maybe a different size yeah. of spring. Okay. And sometimes rigid elements as well. Because sometimes you don't want the structure to move, so you need to make a rigid element. So I, I brought some some stuff here to to explain to you how how this uh, came. <laughs> 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 It's better to take it on the... Yeah. So now we can move this. Yes. <laughs> uh, here you can see oh, the yeah, difference yeah. between um, bracing and yeah. uh, rigid connections. Right. So, the, I'll start just to show you a little bit here. Um, I am an architect, so uh, after I graduated, I realized I didn't know almost anything about structures. <laughs> and I started to study more about it. And I went to an engineering school in Brazil, civil engineering, to a master's degree. And that's where I start to think about making something to see how, how these structures behave because it was very complicated for me to, to understand most of the, the, the classes. So the idea was to, to make it an uh, intuitive way of seeing the structures. So that's why I designed this. And here, at this uh, master's degree, we, we did a, a, a validation of the model. We, we wanted to, to see if the model has really uh, a similar behavior to a real structure. So we compare uh, the deformed shape of the model with the deformed shape of a structure in a software. So we had a, the model, physical model, we had the deformed shape from the software, and we compare these images to see if there was similarity between them. So we did a lot of tests uh, with single elements through plane structures. Um, to spatial structures as well. Here I have I have this. This is the, the master degree. This is, there's all the results there. It's all in Portuguese, but <laughs> you can see images. Um, yeah, <laughs> and 
this, uh, this is some, some structures we, we built to show that you can do a lot of different structural systems with these elements. The idea of this, this set, it's because I needed to raise funds to make this, this product. So I needed to make a small kit to, to do it mm -hmm. because we, we went to a crowdfunding campaign on the internet to raise funds to, to create this, this, this model. So with this, this structure model, you can have the, the behavior of the whole structure. You can see how the, the whole thing works. You can see each element, right? You can see the, the form shapes and everything. And if you make a, a analogy with a cross section, <coughs> also with a beam, yeah. for example, it's easy to see that you have a compression on the top and tension on the bottom because it get closer on the top. So you can have uh, even this kind of analysis. We didn't think about that before. Mm -hmm. We realized after using springs that was possible to do that as well. And this was when the idea came. We, we, I was taking a structural course for architects in Brazil. This one of the classes. And we were making this project, which was an arch with a roof. And I was designing this structure, but I didn't know how it works. It was confusing for me. So I start to build, I decide to build an arch to understand how, how it works. It was the first model I did. It was with wood sticks and the magnets mm -hmm. connections. And, but I, I was curious about what's happened in each element of this arch. So I started to, to try different materials to, so that I could see what's happening in each element. So I did a lot of tests with different uh, elements to get to the springs. That was the, the material that uh, solved those problems. Uh, and it was fun how, how this came, the idea to use the springs. I use these presentations for students. And I show this because sometimes the answer for our problems it's not where we are looking at. So this is the how, how we went to the materials. And after the defining the spring, we did it different structural elements like bracing, rigid connections, and other stuff. And so this kit, uh, it's a book about structures that comes with a set of pieces. This is a prototype of the box, but it's this size. So we can have your uh, room or anywhere. Mm. It's, the idea is that to be very compact, so anyone can can have one. This was the idea because we we launched at the crowdfunding campaign to raise funds. I tried to raise funds for this project like for three four years in Brazil, and no one wanted to to do it, so I tried investors and companies, and, but it was very hard. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go to the crowdfunding as an alternative to, to make it happen. And it was a huge success, the, the crowdfunding campaign. And, and now we're gonna start to produce. Okay. Uh, just finished last month, the crowdfunding campaign. And we will start shipping in July next year. So uh, this is uh, most of the pieces that come inside the box. Okay. We were just, just discussing if it could work on a, on, a, on, a, on a horizontal bed where you have a, a camera. We have such a, a device in our okay. in our lecture rooms. Like okay. Have a, Flat bed with lights on the projects on the screen. Oh, okay. You have just in, in order to have you know one just, model. Just, yeah, and just yeah. to work for hundred people instead okay. of just ten. Yeah, um, I I did some lectures in Brazil. The guys from the students from school they they did that. 
Okay. Because I don't have, like, now I don't have a lot of kids. No, so no. Uh, when it was like 100 people, we can. They you put a camera. People yeah, yeah. Oh, no. they, they put a camera just, just like here mm. yeah. and put it directly oh. to the. It's, yeah. It works. Yeah. And I would try. Yeah, this is another way of making racing. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I'll try this here. Still missing some links, right? Okay. So there are some different links which are still missing in the set. Yeah, could say. actually, this, so this uh, diagonals, they, they are yeah. these yeah, yeah, small the long ones. But you the long ones, oh, it's here. Yeah, but you'd want compression diagonals also. Okay. So just, yes. So that yes. could also be done for some. Yeah, actually, we have a lot of different uh, sizes. Yeah. But for this kit, we, we, we decided to use uh, just a few. Mm -hmm. So you can. It's good when you start to, to build yes. to mm. take. Uh, if you're gonna use this part of the, the element. You put your finger like here yeah. and go directly where you want. Mm. Because, oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were also discussing whether this can be used for dynamic uh, experimentation, so okay. that you can have this in principle on a small, small shaking table, so yeah. you can just see, I you know, how it works, how eigen frequencies. I received an uh, email from a Brazilian student yeah. that she's in Japan, and she said that. She want to try to, yeah. Okay. Do you have yeah. do you have the uh, in your models? Do you have the stiffness and the if, if you use the uh, this bracing here? Do, do you okay. know this, the, the rotation stiffness or are you for your models? No, mm, no, no numbers. No. Uh, it would be nice if you want to make it. You, 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 you can as well make an exercise determining it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like the definite finite element yeah. we just talked about. Yeah, so you have these functions and you have to make a displacement, you measure the force and then you mm -hmm. can determine the yeah, yeah, stiffness yeah. for rotation, for elongation yes. and so on and so yeah. forth. Actually, we, I did this like an um, empirical process. I was trying different kinds of uh, sizes and everything until get to this size and um, shape by just seeing things. I was like, no, now it's okay to see what I, I want to do. So I didn't did any calculations and <laughs> nothing. So it also needs production which is quite exact. Yes, yes. Now now I'm working to the to the mass production. Yeah. We're gonna mm -hmm. make we're gonna um, we had one thousand six hundred kids purchase it at the okay. crowdfunding campaign. So there's already a lot of uh, units and after that I have in mind different kits just to show you uh, an example here which can be the an X kit or maybe I'd like to make kits from uh, real structures as we saw the, the real buildings yeah. idea is that the next kit you can build a lot of bridge systems with the same elements of this kit. So this is another idea for the next kit I'm thinking of building. So, but you can do a lot of things. You can use the, sa the same elements to make like tall buildings mm -hmm. and other structures. What's this for? That's you, you, could, you could supply springs in, in like this. In just like a, any length, and then you could just cut it if you want to, and then add magnets. Uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it, uh, it would be hard to, to put the magnet when you don't have like this. I see. Two of this. Yeah. Um, this element is to make like continuum beam, okay. like here, oh. for example. Yeah. If you have, you ah, got okay. yes. If you use this. Ah, yeah, yeah. Nice. See. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is still so you're using that in your uh, the lower bridge to the left. Number five. Number five. You must be using <coughs> elements like this in order to give a stiffness in the deck. Yes, yes. I used it here, for example. Uh, here. Like this. 
I use it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. So the idea is that you, you're not transmitting to the column, okay. but if you use uh, rigid connections here. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> And this is the, the, the whole thing is that you can change any time, for example, just for the column now. Yeah. So you can really make experiments. Yes. So, so. so how, it's, how it's robust faster. are these springs? How robust are they? Will they be uh, produced from uh, special steel? Or? No, no, no. It's uh, normal steel mm -hmm. because we, have, we need to have uh, magnet connections as well. I thought about stainless steel, but you don't have the, no, the no, kind of, no, no. So that's a lot of things but, I need to. But are they easily overstretched or bent? Mm. A, a little bit in tension, mm -hmm. but if you do more, you're going to have like a plastic yeah. uh, deformation. You know, yeah. 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 But if you do like this, you yeah. can get yeah. big deformations. Okay. Okay. So it is. It's made from spring steel, isn't it? You can you can fabricate this kind of steel for springs. Yes, springs. yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went to a factory, mm -hmm. spring factory. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I didn't decide which material no. to no, use. No, no, I just no. called the guy, hey, mm -hmm. make the spring for me, please. <laughs> it should be like that. I did a lot of different yeah. sizes. And yeah. At the beginning, I didn't have this space between the... the mm -hmm. okay. I don't know how you call it in English. The, Turners, um, mm -hmm. so it was like this part here. I can yeah. see on your first picture yeah. you had them closely. Yeah, but together. but uh, it didn't did this shape. Yeah. No, like, it like didn't this. Like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it didn't work, so I, I started yeah, to, yeah. to make two different. Um, here, are simple examples, right? Here we got uh, pinet connections here, right? Here we have this, bra this bracing working tension. So the structure doesn't move here, right? If you got the other direction, it will move because we got compression here. Mm. And when we use. Yeah. So you have to correct the uh, s uh, stiffness, uh, bending stiffness of the. Yes. Of the yes, yes. Cross yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you can see very easy how it works, who's in compression, who's in tension. You don't need to be an engineer or an architect to understand that. Uh, actually, we, we were on a, in Brazil in a fair with different projects and some kids were playing with. We didn't need to say anything. No. They realized about bracing, about rigid connections. It was like they, they start to build and the structure fall down and there's like put bricks in and making rigid connection with using everything you didn't need to say anything and they doesn't know what's compression or tension or flexion or anything so um, here for example we have all pin in the connections see but if we use uh, horizontal here as a lab, for example, it doesn't move anymore. We are transmitting the, the load to the bracing because of the, the horizontal diaphragm. Yeah. So it's simple examples you can. And if we take it you off. You use also this place for the zero holes? Yes, you can turn here. You can use here uh -huh. too. Okay. So it's rigid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We, we started to making these plates with deformant material uh -huh. as well, but it was too small, the, the deformation was hard to, to analyze, mm. and we decided to, to make a rigid, and it's a rigid element, if you want to make uh, some part of this picture. You don't want to no, see deformations, you can use this element. You're not going to show them plate buckling. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's the next call. Yeah. <laughs> and here, 
The, the good thing with the, you, you put the load with your finger is that you can feel how it's rigid here with bracing. And yeah. when you have rigid connections, you can feel the, the difference. You don't know how. how Fast the, the quantity, the quantity it doesn't, doesn't matter now, but. Yeah. But you can see that. You can, fi you can fixed feel fixed it. Yeah. Yes. Fixed yeah. no loose pressure. No, For example, here we have. Maybe. We have this here. Oh, this is all made with wood. Wood because. Wood? Yeah, because it was made like small quantities, mm. it was made by hand, so now it's going to be injection with plastic, okay. this element and this one as well, so this will be plastic. Uh, okay, here you can see some difference. Between. You can see, for example, here we have compression on the top and tension on the bottom of this beam, right? Here we got an opposite behavior, right? Uh, the different deformations. Here we have uh, tension on the top of the beam, right? You can see very clear. Uh, you can see also, for example, to your uh, mass production, I'm sure DTU is going to buy <laughs> a couple of boxes. <laughs> sure. Have What's you an indication how box? much you will sell a kit? This, this one at the, the crowdfunding campaign, it was uh, about 160 US dollars, yeah. the kit. Okay. But now I... I'm making all the, the production process. We are making all the calculations again to, to see how much it's going to cost. Uh, we don't have already selling it because we just start the company now. When I put the, the crowdfunding campaign, I did by myself. I didn't have a company because I was thinking I'm going to do like 100 kits. I was going to do that mm -hmm. and give to people. I never thought about how many uh, interesting people would be in the project. I never imagined that. And we needed to uh, make the company as fast as we can to start producing. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to help it. Yes. <laughs> <Better. laughs> you can take it off. Yes. Take this one. Take this one. So. So you say one hundred sixty dollars? Sorry? One hundred sixty dollars? Yes. yes. This is three hundred fifty Brazilian reais. Okay. I think now it's a little bit less because of the But it seems fair. It seems fair. Yeah. And see yeah. You can you can actually you can try a lot of things. Uh, like simple things like like plain structure, right? We have how pinned connections. If we place load here, it will change the form. And, yeah. But when you how, how the form of the, the shape of the structure is important, right? When you make it triangles. Right. Yeah. Put the load, but you can think this not in a plane, but if you think, if you think in spatial, it works the same way. So there's uh, simple examples you can. You can create show. also some uh, single degree of freedom, some oscillators with different heights, you know, okay. see different. Uh, yeah. A period or. Uh, yeah. yes. uh, it's very nice when you have a lot of pieces. You go getting taller the you can see like when you get more and more floor how, how 
how it goes um, sideways, you know, with like wing loads. You can see the different how getting bigger, it's you know, making more movements, and you can see the difference between, uh, for example, this structure here. This movement this way, it's always bigger than oh. this way. And there's some simple things that you can see here very clearly. It's the, the idea. Yeah. So what what do you think this is gonna be? Do you think you're gonna use this at like in the classroom or in the lab? What what do you think about it? There are several possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, you can use it easily in a classroom, yeah. for example, for your beam uh, lectures. Yeah, the problem is that we have uh, 100 and some students. No, but with the camera. With the camera. Okay. Yeah, with the camera. Something but like it's, that. It's, 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 you won't have the feeling. Yeah, I think uh, uh, the feeling is. So, it's we need yeah. a metal detector as well. So, the, uh, the students could play with it and yeah. don't leave the room. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the metal yeah. detector. All you have to do is one kid. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, the idea, if, if they can build, it's better yeah. Yeah. than just that's the seeing. Yeah. 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 Because so actually, I would prefer a mixture between calculation and uh, testing. Yeah. 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 So th this would actually be for us, we have uh, experimental courses but they have to test structures. Okay. So, and uh, also something in steel, which is a little bit in this direction, a, a, a beam-like structure. So, but if you can do this at small scale and uh, you have to determine the uh, structural properties first, and then you do you really, a... You really have to understand what you're doing. Yeah, but is the point, yeah? But yeah. And al also the, the difference between, and the correlation between models, different types of models. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a structure, a physical model, and, uh, and then you have a I had a sort of a geometrical model and a computer model and... We, we had a, a very nice experience in Brazil with students from uh, architecture school. We, we always uh, run from the structural classes and most of the students from architecture courses and we started to use this with them and they were like more interested in the subject at first and after starting playing with they they were saying like okay so now that we understood that let's see let's make the calculations to see how, how big this mm -hmm. is gonna be and they wanted to go to the the other step you know yeah, that, that, that was very interesting motivating yeah. yes you use the childish joy to get them to understand yeah. things. Yeah. Yes. But I think but I think there's actually there's a little bit more to it than just the childish joy because I think that sure, sure. Yeah, because I think that it's, uh, it's really helpful for all of us. In, yeah, we work with it in hand and yeah. then and students understand in different ways. Some understand by reading an equation and some understand by yeah, touching <laughs> and <laughs> seeing and yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I guess that when you have worked with models like this, you will never forget that you have to have spatial stability. Yeah. You don't yeah. just have to have stability in one direction, you have yes, to have it in two yeah. directions because of Try again, hug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think. <laughs> You're very stochastic. When you do, you, you, the real language, you, you <laughs> divide the structure in, in set of, like yeah. frames and different parts. It's good to have the idea of the, the, the whole thing. Oof. <laughs> and sometimes in the background, I can say, flip it out. Sometimes I can say, it's very cool. <laughs> so it's so the, the idea is that the user can build anything and test different solutions mm. because usually in Brazil the models we have they are usually for one structural system and most of the time you cannot change it so we got the same, the same answer all the time so this is nice because you can 
change anytime we want and have different solutions, different answers. And it's fun when it doesn't work. I think it's better than you, you realize. You don't see that. Yeah. yeah. You have to find. You have time to realize the collapse because the yeah, the magnetism yes. makes it a slow collapse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah, for example, if we take this bridge connections, if we take this out, yeah. see if we take both. So now we can make a move with this one. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So, and here we have just a few elements. You know how many structures we are building here. And also, it means you think of yeah. building yeah. other types of models. I mean, other yeah. types of physical models. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Of course, you can make many, very yeah. many structures with this, yeah. but you can make yeah. all, yeah. all kinds yeah. of structures. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it makes you more acquainted to work with yeah. okay. yeah. physical models. And it doesn't matter the material, right? It's a behavior. Yeah. Yeah. It can be steel or concrete, doesn't it, matter. Is the name of the company? Yeah, Mola means, Mola. Mola means springs. Springs. Yeah, okay. This is. Well, this, uh, yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, very thank, very yeah. Yeah. thank you very Inspiring. much for your yeah. attention and thank you. to be here. Uh, when when do you expect to be ready to. July, oh. summer, next summer? Or? Yes, July next year. I'll start to shipping the kits from people who crowdfunded. But okay. I think at the beginning of the next year, we will start to sell, but not to deliver yet. Okay. So at the website you can check. This this Facebook web page, we, we are saying all the news for mm -hmm. the front page, so if you're interested. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.